Look, the EU is not perfect. It's large, confounding, and relentlessly bureaucratic. Think of it like Gerard Depardieu. <laughs> it's an unwieldy European body that's a source of great bewilderment. <laughs> But Britain leaving it would be a huge destabilising decision, so you would expect the Brexit camp to have some pretty solid arguments. Unfortunately, many of them are bullshit. One of the most popular involves the financial contributions that Britain makes to the EU. We've got a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to take back control in this country of huge sums of money that we send every year to Brussels, about £350 million a week. We do not control. That is former London Mayor Boris Johnson, a man with both the look and the economic insight of Bam Bam from the Flintstones. <laughs> he... he has even been driven around in a giant red bus for the last month with the words, we send the EU £350 million a week, written on the side. But that number has been thoroughly debunked. It's actually about £190 million pounds a week when you consider a rebate the UK receives and other money that the EU sends back. On top of which, if Britain does leave the EU, it may have to spend close to that amount just to access the common market. So what the bus should really say is, we actually send the EU £190 million pounds a week, which is a proportion of our GDP makes sound fiscal sense. In fact, considering the benefits we reap in return, oh shit, we're running out of bus. OK, bye-bye. <laughs> Now, what, one of the other uh, main talking points from pro-Brexit campaigners has been the EU's onerous regulations. It's even a centrepiece of the feature-length pro-Brexit movie, Brexit the Movie. Here is regulated EU man waking from his regulated slumber to start his regulated day. You wouldn't think you'd need a law for pillowcases, but the EU has five. But that's nothing. The pillow inside is subject to 109 different EU laws. But is it, though? Because we blew up that frame and then went looking through each of the pillow regulations they feature. <laughs> and the problem is, most have nothing to do with actual pillows. For instance, this one is a classification of a type of breakfast cereal that comes in pillow shapes. <laughs> this one is related to a merger between two auto park companies that included the phrase pillow ball joints. And finally, this one uses the word pillow in reference to this weird foot pump thing, which is supposedly for inflating air mattresses, but is clearly a sex doll for a platypus. <laughs> it's so obvious what that actually is. So, it seems the benefits of leaving may be overstated, and there is many... There's a great many people warning about a real downside. President Obama is against Britain leaving, so is China, so is Japan, so is India, and the EU itself. 